Hello, today I'm going to be doing a review and demonstration of this compact bagless vacuum cleaner available from Asda.com and selected Asda stores. It's a budget priced lightweight bagless unit. I'm going to be showing you around the machine, showing you all the tools and then I'm going to see how well it performs on carpets and hard floors and how easy the machine is to maintain. So without any further ado, let's take a closer look at the cleaner before we start the demonstration. So this is the cleaner itself. It has a 700 watt motor, so it gets an A rating for energy use. It has a two litre capacity for the dust container and five metre power cord. It's a single cyclonic unit and it also incorporates a washable filter. At the back of the cleaner, you've got a foot operated on off switch and an automatic flex rewind. To remove the bin, you've got another switch here and then to empty the debris, you press this little button, the flap opens and you can empty into the bin. There's a washable filter located at the top and that needs washing from time to time. Make sure it's thoroughly dry before putting it back in the machine. The shroud unit here can also be taken out and you can rinse that underwater. At the back of the cleaner, you've got the post motor filter behind this grill. It's just a thick black sponge. You can wash that, squeeze it out, make sure it's thoroughly dry and put it back in the cleaner. This Goblin vacuum cleaner comes with a 1.5 meter flexible hose that simply plugs into the front of the cleaner here. And on the handle end, you've got a suction control so you can open the vent to reduce the suction when you're cleaning delicate fabrics such as lightweight curtains. Also included is a metal telescopic extension tube which you can extend and retract according to your needs and you also get the main carpet and hard floor nozzle. This is designed for cleaning carpets and hard floors with the brush down when you're cleaning hard floors and the brush up for carpets. You've got a little thread picker here to help pick up pet hair and difficult litter, a brush at the front and a deep suction channel here that goes up to the edge. The final cleaning tool you get supplied with this goblin is this small two-in-one crevice and dusting tool. It's very short, you're not going to get down very far down the side of your sofa with that, but you can use it in your car as well, doing be between your car seats etc. So that's in its standard crevice tool mode and then you can flip out that little brush for doing very light dusting jobs. I'd like to introduce you to Daisy who has provided me with some hair fresh from her back for the pet hair pickup demonstration. Thank you very much Daisy, you may go. You may go Daisy. Right, sorry about that, off you go darling. Right, so as you can see I've spread around some of Daisy's hair onto the carpet and I've rubbed it in. We'll see how well this goblin does. But in my experience, you really need an upright cleaner or at least a cylinder cleaner that's got a turbo brush to deal with pet tears. But you never know, this goblin may pick it up. So without any further ado, let's see how well it does. predicted not very well at all. It has actually left a very clean stripe but a very narrow stripe. I'll be forever cleaning the carpet using this vacuum. Some of the hairs have actually stuck to the underside of this nozzle. I think what's mainly been helping to remove the hair is the little red hair or fibre pickup strip there. Uh, I'll just give it another go, tackle it from another direction see how it does. Now I think I'll be all day getting this. It's removed some of it, but I think if you've got pets and carpets I don't think this goblin is the cleaner for you. If you've just got hard floors and no pets, it might be okay. I mean, look, there is some hair collected inside there. 
but I think I'll be all day trying to remove all of it from the carpet. So it's not very good, as I predicted, not very good on pet hair. Okay, I'm just going to spread some general dirt on the carpet and see how well it picks that up. So I've spread down some general dirt on this carpet taken from various vacuum cleaner bags that I've used around my home and used in other demonstrations as well. If you want to check out my channel, I've done many, many demonstrations on vacuum cleaners and carpet washers. So if this goblin isn't the one you're looking for, you might find one that's more suited to your needs on my channel. But today is the day that we're testing the goblin. Right, so it's just general dirt. I think this is going to make a better result. I think we're going to see a nice clean stripe, or certainly a cleaner stripe, down the middle of the dirt. I'm just going to pass the nozzle backwards and forwards first through the dirt and then attempt to clean up the rest of it. Now, as you can see, that is quite a difference. It's not done bad considering it's only a 700 watt motor. It's not perfect if I'm ultra critical, looking a bit closer, closer than the camera can see. There are hairs left. Obviously there's hairs in this dirt because it's been used around my home. I have two dogs. So it's not a fantastic result, but it's not bad considering this is a budget priced vacuum. Uh, the bin, let's have a look at the bin. Tap down the dirt. The bin has still a lot of capacity. That's the max fill line on the bin here. Um, I should be able to clean up all of this before I need to empty this goblin cleaner. So that's what I'm going to do now. Pop the bin back and clean up the remainder of this dirt. Right, well that's nearly all of it cleaned up, but what you might have noticed is the motor has uh, made a little bit of a noise. It's what's happened, because it's quite full now, and obviously this is an extreme example, I've picked up quite a lot of dirt in one go. It's blocked the filter, or something's been blocked, because I could hear the suction relief valve cutting in. Um, the suction was reduced at the nozzle and the cleaner was allowing air through to the motor to stop it overheating because obviously now this needs emptying. So if I just, I'll just empty it off camera and just see if that improves matters. Now I've emptied the bin. There is still a little bit of dirt caught just around the shroud here. You can see it's a bit of a messy business. To empty it fully, I'll need to take the top off, but just to finish the demonstration, I'm just gonna leave it as it is. It should be back to more or less full suction. Just quickly finish off. Now it's, it's definitely lost quite a lot of the suction power. But as I said, it's an extreme example Let's have a look at the filter out of interest. Now, this is a single cyclonic cleaner. That filter was clean when I started this demo. In fact, I'm more or less using a brand new vacuum. I've not used this cleaner properly since I unboxed it several months ago on my channel. Well, it's time for the hard floor demonstration now. This Goblin cleaner gets an A rating for hard floor performance, but that is a specific type of dust on a specific floor with a crevice. Whether it's going to pick up this type of dirt as well, I'm not sure. But down on this floor, I put some rice, some rolled oats, some flour and sugar. If anything's going to clog the filter up, it will be the flour. I'm just going to pass the nozzle on its hard floor setting with the brush down, forward and back through the middle of this. We'll see how well this goblin performs. This is 
followed the pattern of many vacuum cleaners I've tested in the past. It's basically picked up most of the fine particles, most of the flour has been picked up into the machine, but it's snow ploughed. And by snow ploughing, I mean it's pushed the lar larger debris to the front of the nozzle. It's just not picked them up, it's just, it's just pushed them to the front. I don't know if you can quite see it. I'll just move the camera so you can see what I mean. There you go, you can see that the large particles, mainly the rolled oats, have just been pushed along and not picked up. So to remove it, I'll have to tilt the nozzle back. So it has eventually left quite a good clean sweep, but by keeping the nozzle flat on the surface, it just pushes a lot of the big particles along. So if you've got, say, cat litter, a lot of cat litter you spill on the floor, this is not going to do very well, unless, of course, you lift the nozzle over the larger debris. There are vacuum cleaners on the market now that do cope with larger and smaller particles. Sadly, this cheap budget goblin isn't one of them. Well, there you have it. That's the end of my demonstration of this Goblin bagless vacuum cleaner. Now, at the time of making this video, this costs about £30 from Asda stores and Asda.com. Is it worth £30? Yes and no. It's okay if you've got mainly hard floors in your home and you've no pets and you don't tend to pick up larger particles. For general vacuuming, it'll suit most people fine, but be aware that with any cheap bagless vacuum cleaner, you are going to have to clean those filters quite often to maintain the suction. In my experience and in my opinion, if you're going budget and you haven't got the money to get something more fancy like a, a Dyson or another multi-cyclonic vacuum, go for a bagged vacuum if you're going at the budget end. Now there's not much you can buy bagged in the UK unfortunately, but there are some cheap bagged vacuum cleaners available. In my experience, a bagged vacuum cleaner will maintain its suction for a lot longer than one of these cheap bagless units, plus emptying them is far cleaner and more hygienic. Obviously this was lovely and clean when I started the demo, and obviously it's full of flour and rolled oats from my last demonstration. The filter, the filters still stayed fairly clean actually for the hard floor demo, but there will be dust and debris in that. Actually, it's not bad. I'm quite surprised. I thought there'd be quite a lot of flour, but not a lot of dust is coming out of that filter. So it did capture the flour in the bin, but as you can see, it's, it's a messy job to empty. If you've got any sort of allergies, I personally would steer clear of most bagless vacuum cleaners. Some of the more expensive, better cyclonic vacuums are okay, but you're still exposed to the dust when you empty them. No manufacturer, no matter how good or expensive, has solved that problem. You're still going to expose yourself to dust. So there you go. It's lightweight, it's relatively quiet. Um, it's not bad for £30. There are better machines out there. If your budget stretches to something a bit better, then I suggest you buy something a bit better than this. It's okay for a budget price supermarket vac. Thanks for watching. If you want to check out my other videos, please search my channel. I've recorded many videos on vacuums, carpet washers, the odd steam cleaner, and other appliance. If you have any questions about this goblin, please ask in the comments section below. Until the next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.